Have you ever wondered how far someone might go to mask their own guilt? Enter the chilling tale of January 2017, an ordinary winter month that concealed an extraordinary crime. Andre Brown, an esteemed former Marine, was found fatally stabbed in his humble abode in Des Moines, Iowa. The first suspect, a homeless man named Milton Jr. Leak, accused by none other than Helen Frazier, Brown's girlfriend. This initial finger-pointing led to the swift arrest of Leek, a man whose only crime, it seemed, was being at the wrong place at the wrong time. But as investigators delved deeper into the case, they began to unearth inconsistencies in Fraser's narrative. The pieces of the puzzle didn't quite fit together. The crime scene, the motive, the accused, something was off. Fraser's allegations against Leek began to look less like solid leads and more like desperate attempts to deflect suspicion. Amidst the unraveling mystery, one thing became clear. Frazier was not the grieving girlfriend she had initially portrayed herself to be. Her ever-changing stories and her eagerness to point fingers raised eyebrows. As the investigators dug deeper, they faced a labyrinth of lies, a web of deceit spun by Frazier herself. As the truth began to peek through the veil of falsehoods, Frazier's facade started to crumble. The innocent girlfriend act was fading, revealing a more sinister character beneath. The once clear-cut case of murder was morphing into a chilling tale of manipulation and deceit. The question was no longer who killed Andre Brown, but how far would Helen Frazier go to hide her guilt? But as the noose of truth began to tighten, Frazier would resort to desperate measures. In this game of cat and mouse, Frazier was always one step ahead. She spun a web of deception that would make even the most cunning of spiders envious. She changed her story multiple times, each time pointing the finger at someone new. It was a chilling game of who done it, with Frazier at the helm, navigating the murky waters of deceit. First, it was Milton Jr. Leak, a homeless man who found himself caught up in a murder he had nothing to do with. He was arrested, his name dragged through the mud and spent 17 days in jail, all because of a lie spun by Frazier. Then, in a shocking turn of events, she pointed the finger at a second man, Kenneth Oakley. It was a twist no one saw coming, a second accusation that sent shockwaves through the investigation. The motive for this horrific crime was revealed to be a heated argument over money, a dispute that escalated, pushing Frazier over the edge, resulting in a brutal murder that shook the community of Des Moines, Iowa. Money, it turned out, was the root of all evil in this tale. But as the saying goes, you can run, but you can't hide. Despite her attempts to throw the investigators off her trail, they eventually saw through her lies. They pieced together the puzzle, slowly but surely, and uncovered the horrifying truth. Frazier was the true suspect, the puppeteer pulling the strings in this twisted tale. As the truth unraveled, Frazier found herself backed into a corner. She was no longer the storyteller, no longer in control. The game of cat and mouse had come to an end, and the cat had finally caught its mouse. Justice, as they say, is always served. The intricate web of lies spun by Helen Frazier could not stand against the relentless pursuit of truth. Arrested and charged with first-degree murder and malicious persecution, Frazier found herself in the unforgiving grip of the law. The courtroom, a stage where truth and deceit do their dance, became the arena for her final act. The gavel fell, echoing the verdict across the silent room, guilty of second-degree murder and malicious persecution. The price of her actions was steep. A sentence of 52 long years in prison was handed down, a glaring reminder of the life she snuffed out. But the scales of justice demanded more. Frazier was ordered to pay a staggering $150,000 to the family of Andre Brown, a meager compensation for a life lost and hearts broken. In the end, the truth prevailed, but not without leaving a trail of innocent lives forever scarred by Frazier's deceit.